Hello friends, welcome to a new happy learning video. Today we are going to learn about the distance there is between one place and another. Or how to measure the height of a giraffe. Today we are going to talk about what it is and how to measure longitude. As we said before, longitude is the distance there is between two points, like the distance between your house and school. The most important unit of length is the meter and is represented by the letter M. 100 M is 100 meters. The meter measures distances, but it also measures things such as height and width. This giraffe, for example, is 5 metres long and this swimming pool is 25 metres long and 10 metres wide. But what happens if what we want to measure is smaller than a metre? We need to divide the metre in equal small parts. If we divide a metre in 10 equal parts, we call each of these a decimeter and we represent it with the letters DM. A metre has 10 decimeters. If we divide it in 100 equal parts, we call this centimetres and we represent them with the letters CM. A metre has 100 centimetres. And so, if we divide the metre into a thousand equal parts, we call these tiny parts millimetres and they are represented by two M's. One metre has a thousand millimetres. To measure these smaller units, we use a ruler or a metre, which, as you can see, divides each centimetre into ten equal parts, in other words, in millimetres. To measure larger distances than a metre, we use a kilometre that is exactly a thousand metres. Did you know how much distance there is between Spain and Mexico? Well, it's 9,025 kilometres and we take about 10 hours travelling this distance by plane. Well, now we've learnt the units to measure longitude, there's something you need to bear in mind. Not all countries use the metre as a means of measuring longitude. In England and United States, they use yards and miles instead of metres and kilometres. A yard is equal to 914 centimetres and a mile is 1,609 metres. It's a bit strange that we don't all measure in the same units, but that's what the world's like. Goodbye friends, and don't forget to subscribe to Happy Learning TV. Search us and subscribe to Happy Learning's YouTube channel.